Thank you for purchasing a C80 fruit and vegetable juicer. When you receive the juicer, it is important to follow these instructions for unpacking your juicer. Place the juicer on a counter and carefully tip it on its side. Open the bottom of the box with a knife. Open the flaps of the cardboard box and tip the box back right side up. Carefully lift the box until the juicer is exposed. Do not lift the juicer using the safety bar. This is only to be used for operations of the juicer. With your thumbs, lift up and pull forward the safety bar to release the cover. You will see the cover has two pulp chutes, a small hole used for items such as carrots and greens, and a large hole for whole fruits such as apples and pears. Remove the two pushers. You will see that no tool is required to remove the basket assembly. This is the only juicer on the market where a tool is not required as it is magnetized. Simply lift up holding onto the juicing bowl and you will see three pieces. The juicing bowl, the pulp retainer ring, and the basket assembly with grating disc. The pulp retainer is used to eliminate loss of any juice and to remove any chunks from the extracted fruit or vegetable juicer. Always be sure the pulp retainer is assembled where the internal edge is turned face up. It is important to understand the on off switch. Before the juicer will operate you must first engage the silver switch all the way to the left. When you are ready to juice press the start button. When you are finished simply press the stop button. Always remember to unplug the juicer before disassembling for cleaning. To reduce cleaning procedures to a minimum, we suggest placing a plastic bag inside the pulp container. The removable parts, except for the pulp container and juice cover, are dishwasher safe. Do not immerse the pulp container in hot water. Note the cover is made of anodized aluminum. Do not place it in the dishwasher. To get the highest yield of juice, always clean the basket with the nylon brush provided. Put the basket under running water and use the brush to clean the inside of the strainer as it lengthens the lifespan. You can also immerse the basket in a solution of hot water with lemon juice or vinegar to loosen any blocked material. Leaving the basket to soak overnight will also help thoroughly clean it. Do not use abrasive products or sponges to clean the basket. Never use bleach or chlorine based cleaner products on the juice extractor. After cleaning the components of the juicer, you may now reassemble it. Simply place the juicing bowl on the base of the juicer so that the spout is in front. Next, place the pulp retainer ring with the internal edge facing up. Then place the basket assembly in the juicing bowl. Make sure the basket's clutch disc is correctly inserted on the drive disc. Place the cover on the juicer. Place the safety bar in place and now you are ready to juice.